Hey guys, I've got a bad news and a good news to share with you all. I think I should start with the good news. So the good news is that the government of Canada has conducted two express entry draws back to back on the same day. So the express entry draw 141 and 142 was conducted on 9th April 2020. That might be yesterday for many of you guys living in Asia. Okay, now that is the good news. The bad news is that none of these draws were actually an all program draw. Let's discuss these first two draws and then we'll discuss about the all program draw in detail. So the first draw, which was the draw 141, was a PNP specific draw, while the other draw, the 142nd draw, was the CEC specific or Canada Experience class. So PNP specific means that only those people who have got a nomination from any of the Canadian provinces and CEC specific means all of those people who belong to Canada experience class or who have got one year or more Canadian working experience. Number of invitations in the first draw was 606 and the number of invitations in the second draw was 3294. If you do a total of these two you will realize that number comes up to be 3900. So IRCC is continuing its trend to issue 3900 invitations in two weeks time. The CRS cutoff score for the PNP specific draw was 698 while for the CEC specific draw was 464 and the tie breaking rule for the PNP specific draw was December 18th while for the CEC specific it was January 4th. Now this pattern or these two draws were very similar to the last two draws that were actually conducted a couple of weeks ago. So the 139 draw was conducted on 18th March. It was a PNP specific draw and the number of invitations was 668. The cutoff score was 720 while the 140th draw was on March 23rd. It was for CEC and the number was 3232. The cutoff score was 467. The total again was 3900. So yes, it is a good news that the cutoff score for both of these draws have gone down. The new draws give the cutoff score for PNP as 698 and for CEC as but I guess by now you must have guessed the bad news. The bad news is that none of these draws were an all program draw. The last all program draw was conducted on March 4th. It has been more than a month that there hasn't been an all program draw and the cutoff score of that draw was 471. So obviously it is a bad news for thousands of those guys waiting in the express entry pool. Canada is not conducting the all program draws for all those foreign nationals who haven't got any PNP invitation or who haven't got the Canadian work experience. Now let's see the CRS score distribution of candidates in the express entry pool as of April 5th 2020. So mind it this is the distribution of April 5th which means in the last four days many others would actually have joined the pool. And the result can be seen in the two draws that have been conducted today. So we, here we can clearly say that all the people who were there in these CRS score ranges have already got their invitations now. And some people from this CRS score range have also got the invitation. So all in all, if you say there have been four express entry draws conducted in the last four weeks, but none of them were all program draws. Now there can be several theories behind it. But I believe the biggest theory is because of the COVID-19 restrictions. Things are changing rapidly around the world and be it people or the government, they are not prepared for a scary future. Maybe they want to buy some more time before they start issuing invitations to all the foreign nationals to invite them to Canada. But to get the streak going and to meet their target of number of invitations for this year, they continue to send invitations to those people who have got Canadian work experience at the same time, they are sending invitations to all those people that have been chosen by the provinces already. However, there hasn't been any official statement around this theory or any reason why is this happening. But yes, this seems to be the most probable reason. And of course, if there's any news around it, I will keep you updated as always. So thank you guys for watching this video. If you like the video, please click the like button. And yes, if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please click the subscribe button because in the upcoming days, I'm going to upload really interesting videos about the Canadian immigration and lifestyle. So make sure that you don't miss any of those videos. Please click the bell icon so you get the notifications as well.